So here we have a pre-owned 2020 Kia Telluride EX. And this Telluride comes in dark moss on gray leather interior. And the powertrain consists of a 3.8 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine. Made it to an eight-speed Sportmatic automatic transmission. I really do like that dark moss though. It's a beautiful color. So here's that front end there. The LED daytime running lights. And these are hard to get a hold of new nowadays. And here we have 18 inch aluminum wheels. We get passive keyless entry on the front two doors. And there are the controls for your power door locks, power windows, power mirrors, and then of course your power folding mirrors with blind spot monitors. And there's our power driver seat with power lumbar support. So really great leg room back here. And I'm six foot three, have plenty of headroom, and then I have all this space here. And the seat in front of me is adjusted for someone of my size, and I almost scooted it all the way back. And it's just crazy. This leg room is it really is incredible. And I like how you have the vents right there, kind of in your face, because that's where I like them. So as you're getting the full effect. And there's our third row back there as well. And then there's the leg room for that. And then here are the controls for the automatic climate for the rear and you can toggle the temperature. And then of course the fan speed. And then we even have a nice rear blind here. Well, let's go ahead and check out the rear cargo space next. Ooh. And there's that beautiful back end there. This one has a towing package so you get the rear leveling suspension for when you're doing that. One of my favorite things about this vehicle is the cargo space and how you can make so much more space without sacrificing how far you have the seats up. So I pretty much have these seats all the way back. And then you just pull up here, push that down, still folds flat. And then watch this. So that seat back on the front passenger is up a little bit, but I mean, that's crazy space right there. Very impressive. And then to fold the seats back up, you do have to hit this right here and then push it back when it's flat. And here we have a power passenger seat. But next we're gonna go ahead and check out the engine bay. And there's that 3.8 liter V6. And hood's heavy, but easy to close. Let's hop in the driver's seat. So a really nice leather wrapped steering wheel here. Really nice. 
And then over here to our entertainment system, you've got this kind of three area screen going. So weather, music, nav, and then you can just hit the button here to turn that on, go through the um, options or just pull up the map itself and put the address in, zoom in and out, all of that. And I like how it takes up the whole screen. It's not like over here and then you have something over here, but you can go ahead and put that over there if you want to and decide what you want to display, which is actually pretty helpful depending on if you need that or not. So there's our backup camera. And then we have AM, FM, XM radio. Then we also have Bluetooth audio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. And then down here we have our dual zone automatic climate controls. So then you put on auto mode or you can sync them unsync them, turn it off. And pretty easy to control, so I like that. And then for the front driver and passenger, you get three stage heated and cooled seats. I'm gonna work this thing, there it is. All right, so in our center console space here in the front, we have a 12 volt, a USB, then the USB charging port. And then we even have our wireless charging pad, which is a really nice size. And I like even just stow that away by closing this. And then for our eight speed shifter, hit this here, reverse neutral drive, and then you can tap over to manually shift. Drive modes, so our little knob here. Ooh, I like that. You can just, it's not like clicking, you just kinda move it. And each time you turn it all the way, it goes over a mode. So we have smart, eco, comfort, and then sport. So we're gonna start off in comfort for our test drive. But we can toggle our auto stop here. For those who don't like that, we have our automatic brake hold. We can toggle our parking sensors on and off and then our electronic parking brake, pull up to engage, press down to disengage. Two cup holders here, a little storage if you wanna stand your phone up or whatever. And I like the center console space here because you're able to remove that tray and have all that additional room or like I put my phone there, so on and so forth, you can put whatever you want. And then we have our power sunroof here, which is one touch. And then you just close it back. Don't know what that clicking sound was, but there's a view of the back from up here. Then here we have our glove compartment with owner's manuals. And over here, we have our Bluetooth controls. We can toggle our modes between the radio stations, Bluetooth, set up your favorites, all that. Volume, track list. And then over here, we have our cruise controls. And then we can go through our gauge cluster here using these two buttons here, and then we can adjust the gap for our front collision alert. There's our push button start. And finally, here's our key fob. So for the most part, this Telluride has 28,534 miles and everything seems to be holding up, but let's see how it drives with almost 29,000 miles on it. So surprisingly good acceleration coming out of the parking lot, even in comfort mode. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the sport. It 
really clean and crisp shifts and it just has so much power through the rev range surprisingly So really, really good acceleration. I'm gonna put it into Eco, and then we are going to test out this sound system. And that's with Bluetooth. sound for it to be the stock sound system nothing over the top or anything that was necessarily impressive but a really good sound nonetheless I was able to hear the bass the vocals were really clear high end was really clear so it shouldn't be a determining factor whether you pick this car or not because it's still really good for a stock system I have the cruise on now and there it is breaking for me to keep that safe distance between myself and the vehicle in front of me. And I actually didn't know that this had adaptive cruise until I turned it on. So here it is bringing the vehicle to a complete stop. So really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take control of it now. So I'm gonna show off these tire pressure sensors. Cause I don't think I got to them earlier, but there they are right there. So nice display for all four tires. It doesn't just give you a low pressure warning. And then for your smart cruise and all that, you actually have the controls here, which is interesting because usually like for the lane keeping assist and all that, it's over here on the steering wheel for the, I think the Sorento and some of the other models, but you pretty much have that going on. I guess it's the highway or whatever, or the lane following, yeah. So you can toggle that on and off within the gauge cluster. You just have to find it. But it does help the steering wheel not be so clustered, if that makes sense. And other than a slight sound coming from outside, uh, from the tires, really smooth ride and nice and quiet in the cabin And although the market is like it is now for used cars, when it does settle back out, or maybe even now if you find the right deal, this is gonna be the best way to buy these, especially if we end up coming out of this soon, because the 20s basically, there's not much difference between a 20 and a 22, at least in my opinion, not enough to warrant buying a new vehicle, unless you're just one of those people that likes to buy them new and keep them for years to come but this is other than that road noise 
This is driving like a new car. And this will bring me to an end of my review of the 2020 Kia Telluride EXV6.